Oh shit! Oh fuck my face! Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! I'm gonna need a nose job after that. Welcome to the Dragonfly Dungeon! Hello, howdy hidens, folks. I'm your host, Mr. Sepperstein, also known as our, you know. And, yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Montezuma's Return, Part 4, the Dragonfly Dungeon. Now, this level, that part will probably prompt you a lot of restarts if you're not good at knowing where your wheels are. I mean, wheel, knowing where your legs are. I mean, knowing where your legs are. Because, seriously... You have only one shot at getting all of those treasures on the way into the level. And if you don't... Thank you! Pleasant day to you, sir. You have only one shot at getting those gems coming into the level. So you really need to be careful with uh, how you approach it. You need to like make sure that you get them all because you can't get them after you actually start the level. You need to restart until you get them all and then proceed through the rest of the level as as you would normally. But the Dragonfly Dungeon is one of my favorite levels because of the fact that there's a lot of water in it. And water is one of my is my favorite element. And it's uh it's a really 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 nice map. I nice map. What am I talking about? It's a really nice stage, especially this little bit here. Now, there's actually one interesting note that I'd like to mention about the Dragonfly Dungeon is that the dragonflies try to drown you. Um, no, it's... Hey! It's an interesting thing to note in regards to, um, the enemies in this stage. Yes, it's called the Dragonfly Dungeon. Yes, these are dragonflies, which I can't actually freaking kick, but I have to punch to kill for some silly reason. There, I dealt with them. You're going to see three different types of enemies in this. One, you're going to see the dragonflies, as you already have seen. Thank God we got them out of the way. Could never live with myself if you never saw them again. Oh, it wouldn't be called the Dragonfly Dungeon if there weren't dragonflies in here. Um, but there are actually some other enemies in this as well that I'm actually not sure what the names of them are because one of the interesting things about this game is that there's a death video, a death animation sequence that plays every time you're killed by a certain enemy. However, there is nothing in this level in regards to enemy deaths for videos. None of the enemies in this level have death videos where they show what it shows them killing Max, which is really weird. I wouldn't have thought that that would be the case, but apparently it is, so that's the way it works, I guess. I don't know, but there you go. I just thought that was kind of weird because every other enemy has some sort of death video. When you're falling, when you drown, when you fall into a lava pit and don't get out of the lava fast enough, that kind of stuff. So, you know, there's a couple of... Ah, I hate this. You have to jump into this. Ah, okay, don't jump into it. Jumping is a bad idea. You have to kind of swing around and then kind of bounce your way up to the top of the room. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that one's kind of elusive. It's the elusive thing. Now that we've gotten both of these, which is actually really awesome, and this is probably gonna, okay. Make our way down, make our way down, and then try and scoop. Good, perfect. Now, the reason why I needed those two is because you might have noticed those pegs on the front of where I just was, like what I was at here. You notice those two pegs. Well, that's what those are for. Those are little rotating key disks things or majiggers that you need in order to be able to get up through this. And since you can't jump out of the water normally, you just gotta come up here. And then glide your way across until you put one in. And then glide your way across here. Running against the wall, like strafing against it and running forward at the same time, it really helps you pick up your speed. Especially at certain angles, like you notice there. And that's that. And now we can get on this and ride our way up to the top of the room, which starts the little harder section of the level. Where you'll actually see your first new enemy in here, actually. Well, actually, probably not. No. I mean, even from up here, you can't get the gems that are over there because it's just too far 
too far. Now, you can either go right here or you can go left here. Left is the only viable option at the moment. Oh, you can go left or right or left. Okay. Uh, come in here just to kill the dragonflies. Oh, bonus life. I'm going to die if I don't punch the crap out. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So you can't do anything in here yet, I don't think. Unless there's something out here. Yeah, I need to come up this way first. Because we need more keys. We need to collect more keys. Now, be careful because, as you can see, there's a fan under the water. And those platforms break when you're on them. Oh, they don't break, but they fall. There is a section later in a later level where the platforms will break as you're on them. And put you back to the beginning of the room. This is the new enemy that I was talking about. These guys are fairly annoying. They're like some sort of... Don't you dare try and hit me. I got very little health left as it is. I don't need you to kill me, thanks. So I'm going to call this guy Sicky. I don't know. Because he's, he's, he's wielding commas, which are basically, ba basically mini skies. Basically, mini sights. And he poofed. Now, don't... Make sure you don't land on the same one of these twice, because obviously, you won't win. Whoa! Hi, how you doing? Ay! Come here, I'm gonna punch you in the butt. Actually, that is <laughs> not recommended. Like, I'm just... Sorry, I'm just panicking because I got very little health, but now there's Brenaners in, in Skype. And here is one of the keys that we need. I think this is the only key that I need, actually. Now, when you come down, the room will eventually... Well, the room will come back up to normal height once you have killed both of these sickies. I really wish they actually had names, because I don't think these guys actually have any names in them. I'm sure it must have been a mistake that they left these guys without um, death videos, because every other enemy has one. All the bosses have one, but the bosses nor the enemies in this level have a death video, which is kind of interesting. Not that that's a problem. Ah! Not that that's a problem, but it, you know. Uh, oh, also, uh, speaking of enemy names, and speaking of enemies in specific, um, I actually found out what the name of the enemy in the Lair of the Lava Lord was that I didn't actually know, that I called him Inky the Buff Slayer and Buffy the Inky Slayer. Um, that is actually, their names are Tattoo. Believe it or not, their names are actually Tattoo. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Oh man, my wrist is in such an awkward position because of my mouse. It's painful. But still. Now, as you can see, you can't just cheap skate your way through the water section of that part of the level because of the fact that the fan blows on the opposite side of the bridge. Now that we've got that arrow key, we can come into this room to the left here. And when you want to do this, you want to jump down and make sure you get every gem on the way down and land in the water because if you don't, it would hurt a bit. Now, I'm just going to continue this way because there is another key that we need to grab this way. And if I don't continue this way, I don't think, I don't think that you can actually do anything if you don't, so. Come this way anyway. Now, this part is a bit of a pain, not just because of the fact that there's a sticky in here, ah, sticky in here, but because of the fact that that particular, like, cape, box thing, a bit of a pain because you have to bring it up here and then you have to jump on it and then jump into here kind of if you can kind of do that because this box is very reminiscent of the one that we saw in Lair of the Lava Lord which had the thing on it but that obviously you know it doesn't have the bouncy on it uh, we're gonna go this way first because this level is a ton of fun and I love the music in this room Now, I thought about an interesting idea that I won't be putting into practice probably until the end of the project, but it's something that I wanted to kind of... I literally only just came up with the idea of it before I even started recording this, and I'll explain more about it when I actually reach it, but I'm going to be doing an epilogue 
episode. And this is the final enemy that you'll be seeing. These guys are incredibly annoying because of the fact that their big tub of lard bellies make it so that you will fly away when you, you know. So you have to kick them in the giant butt. I can kind of imagine why they didn't decide to put any sort of um, death video in for these guys. Because, like, oh, uh, oh, I'm so fat. Oh, uh. I look like that. I, I literally run around like that. Whoa! But yeah. Now, the annoying part about them is that they don't hurt. But, but, <laughs> but they can send you flying, and obviously that will pro pose problems in and to themselves because these guys are placed fairly high up. Oh, oh, oh. Just make sure you don't. Uh, jump, because if you jump, then that's asking for failure. Oh god, that looked weird. <laughs> now, this room, there are a bunch of stickies. Sickies. Ca ca camis. But they're in stone. And you can't do crap about them when they're in stone. So you collect this key. And as you can kind of gather, it's a trap. Oh! These are the only guys that actually have like sharp weapons compared to everybody else. Everybody else has a blunt object, but these guys have sharp scythes. Commas, my mistake. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be of Japanese ethnicity. I'm, I'm guessing that's what they're supposed to be, but you know. Now, can I get these jewels on the way down? Ah, uh, no, I can't. I gotta kind of work my way back up again because I gotta get them all on the way down, and that's gonna be a pain in the buttocks. Make sure I get at the top one. This should be the final one up here. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Did I miss one? Yeah, what? why did I miss one? The, the game kind of like frame rate lagged and didn't let me collect that final treasure, so... Uh, that's not my only time of getting to pretty much all of them and then not getting the final one. And gotcha. Yeah! <laughs> Get me out. I'm not being there anymore. Now, to the left, we'll see giant Dorito platforms. Actually, we will. And while I'm heading up here, there's a potential for funny thing to happen. I'm actually kind of being serious. There is actually potential for something really stupid to happen that I'm kind of hoping does happen. But let's go up these these tortilla Cheeto chip things. Seriously, the, the thing on these makes me really hungry. Whoa! Excuse me. Don't do that. Stop frame rate lagging, you dumb crap. Now, let's see if I can get this guy to do what I thought he was going to do. Because in my first Let's Play of this, this guy ah, did not do that. Ow. Uh. Now, this guy up here, for some reason, is a big dummy in the sense that... He'll actually fall and die at the bottom of the room because he can't swim. Oh, he lived, did he? Okay. Let's deal with him down here. Ah! What is going on? Now, what I was trying to explain about this guy is that he'll actually fall from the top of the room and fall in the water and die. And it's funny, and he's obviously not sure where he is. He's not alive in the water, is he? He's not alive down here, is he? Oh my god, this game does not make any sense sometimes. He just disappeared! He didn't die, he just disappeared. 
Whatever, I'm done in here now. I'll off screen my way to the top of the room. Okay, now I'm back up here. We're almost done with this, hopefully. <sighs> now, in here there is another one of those sickies. Ow. Ow! You hurt my facial hair so bad. Now click this button with your face. And that will allow you to swim to the places unknown. Actually, it just brings you back up into that room that we jumped into. Just kidding. Brings you back into the dragonfly's den. This is the room that we were just in. But, you know, we weren't, you know. Ow. So what you want to do is you want to put the first arrow on this, which will lower that one. And then what you want to do is you want to be careful because that can actually potentially get you stuck, by the way. But be grateful you got both of those keys because now you can actually come all the way up here. And I believe we're going to be able to engage ourselves in the boss fight finally to get to end this level. Ah, there's another sickie. <laughs> My assaulting barrage of foot with penny loaf for awesome. I don't know. But this boss will make you laugh. Because I can't beat this boss without laughing. Uh, yeah, it's one of these guys. It's your boss fight. As his big... As his extremely fatly awesome... Awesome... Uh, fat form. He cannot hurt you. But his hitting you into objects will hurt you so don't get hit by his big fat butt instead hit his big fat butt it is so hard trying to fight this guy but anyway what happens is think of osmosis jones uh, i don't even know if you want to think of osmosis jones fused with this guy but this guy divides into multiple forms of himself. And this isn't the only division he does, either. Whoa! That hurts. Don't let him do that. That, that hurts. Oh! But, yeah, this, this boss is extremely hard to fight without laughing. I'm surprised I'm able to do it. But even now, once you kill him, he splits into two more smaller... Oh, three more! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Even I can't. Like, I can get through most of it with a straight face, but when he splits into the final three, it's like, and you can just kick these guys normally. But they hurt, so watch out. <laughs> uh, let's try and not die here. Where are you going? I get kind of scared when the game jumps like that. I don't know if you can see it, but it does kind of jump a bit for me, and it kind of bothers me a bit. There. That's one of them. Uh, I don't want to die to these fat guys. another one that thing oh, oh. <laughs> yes that is it for that level am I glad that's over <laughs> what only 95% of the enemies what happened to the final 5% oh well whatever Perfect completion. Let's get ready for the bonus round. Now, this one is a little bit more challenging. This bonus round is a little bit more frustrating to complete than some of the other ones, especially if it lags for you, like it lags for me. This one's a little bit laggier because there's a little bit more going on because there's actually a lot to this level compared to previous ones. So it's a little bit different in that aspect especially this bit this bit can be a bit frustrating if you're not quick with it oh what the hell happened there lag man lag 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 nothing but lag 
And I was very lucky to get up there, but there you go. Because the thing that makes this so bad is that this is the extra portion that you gotta complete here. And once you get these, you can focus on the rotating gems, but... Hi, hi, blah, 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 blah. Thank God that's over. <laughs> Thank God the entirety of that level's over. I couldn't bear to deal with any more of that. I don't know where the last enemy was, but whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching the Dragonfly Dungeon of Let's Play Montezuma's Return Part 4. I'll see you back in Part 5 as we deal with my dreaded level, Monkey Madness. I'll see you then. Please subscribe if you feel like you want to have more of this terrible content. And I'll see you later.